Good morning, wrestling fans. Today is Sunday, September 29th, 2024. I am Lance Brack. Hello and welcome to the Sunday episode of 360. Good morning, wrestling fans. Hope everyone is having an awesome Sunday, no matter where you are in the world. And on this Sunday episode of GMWF, going to talk a little bit about last night's episode of AEW Collision. And also, tonight is the season premiere of The Simpsons, which is guest starring John Cena tonight. First wrestler appearing on The Simpsons since Brett the Hitman Hurt back in the day. He was in the episode The Old Man and the Lisa, which I have talked about on 360 Anything Goes. So if you missed that episode, you can go back right here on Spreaker or wherever you listen to your podcasts and listen to that. But John Cena on The Simpsons tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern on Fox. But without any further ado and wasting any more time, let's talk about last night's AEW Collision, which was taped on Wednesday night after Dynamite Grand Slam. And this is the first ever Collision Grand Slam from Archer Arthur Ashe Stadium in New York and our commentators for last night Tony Schiavone Daddy Magic Matt Menard and Ian Riccoboni which made sense not to have Nigel McGuinness on commentary this week since Wednesday on Dynamite he had that match against Brian Danielson but I thought these three were pretty good together. Matt Menard has been, in my opinion, improving quite a bit on commentary. He's been on Rampage and Collision. I think he's been doing a pretty good job. And we kick things off with Collision Grand Slam, the Soraya's Rules match. And it is, of course, Soraya with Harley Cameron in her corner taking on Jamie Hayter. And before the match starts, Harley Cameron gets on the microphone and says there is one more rule they are adding to the match. And that is that the match cannot start until Soraya slaps the slag, the slag. And Harley Cameron causes a distraction to Jamie Hayter. Soraya slaps her, starts the match. Garbage can, garbage can lids, tables out here. And there's at one point, there's a backpack. Not Orange Cassidy's backpack, but a backpack with little toy cars in it. Maybe Hot Wheels, Matchbox cars, something. And they get poured onto two tables. Hater and Soraya up on the top rope. Then Mariah May comes up from behind trying to hit Hater with her German suplex through the table with the toy cars. While they are fighting, Soraya comes up with a steel chair, hits Hater, and knocks both of them back into the table, onto all the toy cars and everything. And I know a lot of people get upset with their chair shots these days but don't worry Jamie Hayter actually 
put her arm up and it more so hit her elbow. It was not a chair shot to the head. So they played it safe there. But only one of the tables broke and it was the table that Jamie Hayter more went through and Harley Cameron actually taking a pretty hard bump onto the table. She rolled under the table actually and rolled over to the side. So hopefully she is not hurt too badly. The best to Harley Cameron. The learning tree took on the conglomeration in a trios match. And not a bad match, but uh, not quite as good as I thought it was going to be. Chris Jericho gets the win, pinning Mark Briscoe. Nine minutes, two seconds. And then after the match, Chris Jericho kind of teases that he might want the Ring of Honor World Championship once again. So, uh, as far as Ring of Honor goes, they don't have a premium live event special, I don't believe, until December for Final Battle. So, I could kind of see that being on Dynamite Title Tuesday coming up in a couple weeks. Or maybe even the next Battle of the Belts. But I don't see the title being defended on Ring of Honor on Honor Club, though. And then Brody King defeats Action Andretti. One minute, 42 seconds. Real short match here. But a win for Brody King. The AEW TNT Championship is on the line in an open challenge. Jack Perry defends, and the man he defends against, Minoru Suzuki. Good match. Jack Perry has uh, draping DDT onto the floor, throws him into the steps. And Aubrey Edwards stops the match. After the match, Perry goes on the attack once again. And then we get the save from Castellori Shibata. Looks like he's going to be the next challenger for Jack Perry's TNT Championship. The Blackpool Combat Club, Cardio, Castanoli, and Pack. First, it's just them, and then we see Willard Yuta make his way out. They defend the AEW Trios World Championships against Private Party and Commander. Willard Yuta still kind of out of it in a troubled place, but Claudio and Pac got into his head. He snapped a little bit and they got the win. And then after you could tell he kind of was selling where he felt bad for what he did. And our Lucha match is next in honor of Hispanic Heritage Month. Hologram the Beast Mortos and Juristico fun match here. I enjoyed this one and had, like I said yesterday on GMWF haven't seen Juristico on AEW television in a while. He has been wrestling but it's just been a little bit since he has been in AEW. Hologram gets the win 10 minutes 6 seconds and we have Hangman Adam Page taking on Jeff Jarrett lumberjack strap match and it was at this time I'm guessing this was for everyone there was a little bit of 
tech problems, I guess, went out and then the one, like, production screen or whatever comes up, AEW collision number segment, and it has the segments on there, and, but I thought that was kind of surprising, though, being a taped show. If it's a live show, it's understandable having some tech issues and different problems, things like that, but for a taped show and a network like TNT, that's kind of surprising, but that did clear up, and Hangman got the win, defeating Jeff Jarrett, 13 minutes, 27 seconds, in the Lumberjack Strap match. And in the main event, an AEW Continental Championship Eliminator match, the AEW Continental Champion Kazuchika Okada taking on Sammy Guevara. Pretty good main event. Okada getting the win, 12 minutes, 27 seconds. I thought this was a good, fun match. And that was last night's AEW Collision Grand Slam. Don't get me wrong. I thought it was actually a pretty good wrestling show. I wouldn't say anything too spectacular, but it was a good show, though. Nothing real great, but good. And that is all for the Sunday episode of 360 Good Morning Wrestling Fans. Once again, I just want to say thank you to everyone for tuning in. I appreciate everyone who listens. You can go to the comment section and leave your thoughts and your opinions on last night's AEW Collision Grand Slam either right here on Spreaker YouTube or wherever you listen to 360 Wrestling Podcast app. I will be back tomorrow for the Monday episode of 360 Good Morning Wrestling Fans. So I hope you all can join me once again. I'll talk to everyone tomorrow. But until then, have a great pro wrestling day.